Hi, and welcome to the 2018 paper two of the Leaving Cert Ordinary Level question six. So as usual, I suggest you pause the video and have a go at trying to do the question. Uh, there's a part A and a B here in question six. If you want to set a notes I'm working off with the answers built in, please send me an email at shanetroy at gmail.com. The email address will be in the, in the description below. So question six here, part A has a one and a two marked together. Part one says, construct the triangle ABC, where the length of AB equals 10 centimeters. The length of the angle CAB, number is the middle letter that matters, is 60. The length of ABC is 40. Label each vertex clearly. Okay, so first thing to do is draw a line of length AB. Now, this is not the scale because you know, I've uh, stretched the screen, but let's say that was 10 centimeters. So I'll label it 10 centimeters. Now that's A on one side and B on the other. Okay. Now the angle, see CAB. So C is up here somewhere. Okay. So the angle CAB is 60 degrees. So with your protractor, measure 60 degrees. Okay. And you get something like that. Now, obviously, that's a straight line. And then with the other side, okay, is the angle ABC. So ABC measure an angle of 40 and draw a straight line. They should meet up here at C. That's a triangle drawn. I'd fit in the, the gaps here. That's 60, whatever, and then 40 here. Now the second part two here says you're asked to measure BC, measure the length of this side here, and write your answer in centimeters, correct to one decimal place. So we'll go to the answer here. So the diagram looks like that. It's taken from the marking scheme. The tolerance, you have a tolerance here, but roughly the uh, the length of BC should come out to around 8.8. .8. Job done. Okay, so 10 marks there for part A, um, part one and two. Now part B here, we have five marks here, which is part A, B and C in this question. The diagram shows a parallelogram with vertices P, Q, R, S. Okay, so that's P, Q, R, S. We see that the angle SPQ, so the middle letters of matters, is 115. That's shown here. The angle QRS, so QRS is called alpha. The angle RSP, so RSP is called beta. You are asked to write down the value of alpha and beta. And we'll go to the answer because I've done it nicer, okay? But the basic point here is that opposite angles in a parallelogram are equal in size. Therefore, if alpha, is, sorry, if the angle at SPQ is 115, the angle opposite it is equal, so it's 115 as well. Now, if you know these two angles, and you know that the all three angles, or four angles in the parallelogram add to 360, if you take these two angles away from 360, you're left with two, the, these last two angles, and just divide them by two to get what each angle is. So I've done it here in, I suppose, text here. Uh, 360 degrees equals all angles of parallelogram. That's also equal to 2 times 115 plus 2 times beta. And 2 times 115 is 230, and I'm bringing it across the line, becomes subtracted on the left. That's still equal to 2 times beta. I'm going to carry it off over here. 2 times some angle equals 130. Well, obviously, the angle has to be 65. I brought the algebraically, I brought the 2 across. It was multiplying on the right. becomes divided on the left. 2 into 130 goes 65 times. And that's a degree. Okay, so I've written the two angles here in the space provided. Job done. Now, B part two here. Explain why the triangle PQR is congruent to triangle RSP. Give a reason for any statement you make in your explanation. So you have to give reasons what, why you're saying. Okay. Now, congruency, with congruency, if you can prove that three things are equal in a triangle, then those two triangles are equal. Okay. And there's certain criteria here. Now, I'm going to go to the answer, but basically... Your job, you make the two triangles, um, PQR. So if I put a diagonal in between there, I have the triangle PQR down here and the triangle RSP up here. So can you think of three things that are equal between those two triangles and the reason for it? Now, there's multiple answers here. I'll go straight to the answer here. I've drawn the diagonal. I've taken this diagram from the, um, the marking scheme. Okay, and there's a few things written on there. I haven't necessarily used all of them. But I have my two triangles, 
and I went with angle side angle. So they have a common side. So the length of PR is equal to the length of PR on both triangles. This is the common side. That's the reason. Now SPR, now I'm using the alternate angle here. So SPR, so this angle here. Now they've identified there as squiggle, or whatever. Um, it, that's equal to this one here. The reason your diagonal here is cutting two parallel lines. So you have alternate, alternate angles are equal. They've done the exact same thing for the other alternate angle, Y and Y. Okay. And again, the reason is alternate angles. So I've in the marking scheme, you need three statements and three full reasons to get full marks. And you should state that the how you got it was angle side angle. Um, so that's the side. I've done a side angle angle, but it's the same thing. And therefore they're congruent. And the image down in the corner just shows you different types of congruency, side, side, side. What I use is angle, side, angle. You could go angle, angle, side, same thing, and side, angle, side. Okay, so that's part three. Now, congruency is a tricky thing, so it takes time to get used to it. Um, the only way to get around it is practice. Okay, so thanks for that, and see you on question seven.